anytime I talk about an aerospace type of dummy that's really meant for anything that has to do with general aviation or commercial aviation or human space flight realm where we've got the Orion and we've got the commercial crew programs and they have to use crash test dummies to evaluate the likelihood of injury when they're either coming back to the ocean or they're going to be coming back to land. So most of the time that we're doing a crash test, um, everything that you really want to know about injury occurs in anywhere from one-tenth to four-tenths of a second. So we have to be able to capture it. a lot of data within that time frame. The, the instrumentation has gotten a lot smaller. You can now put an entire uh, suite of sensors just in the back of this head, and then the data will get stored on the laptop. We can then use, take a look at that data, evaluate that against injury criteria, compute different uh, injury criteria. For instance, the neck itself has special types of uh, responses that you take a combination of the neck response, its forces, and its twisting moments, and you sum all that together to have really one number that says whether there's an injury occurs or not. When we get this data back, we want to use that data to evaluate whether a certain suit requirements are met, certain helmet requirements are met in the case of the astronaut. Um, as you start putting a lot of weight over the head, the loads differ in the neck, so you want to make sure that you don't have too much weight. The seats are very important, so if the seats themselves have energy absorbing capability, we want to see if they're actually preventing or mitigating the loads. We can look at all the different types of environments and we can test those not only at the seat level, but even at a higher level like a barrel section or we can test them with the full aircraft. 